Um, I have uh, chosen to do an 8x10 that I'm going to frame. And so when you do a drawing that you think you're going to frame, the area that's going to be shown is 8 by 10, 8 inches by 10 inches. But to put it in a frame, you have to account for what is behind the actual mat. So when you frame it, you, you, it has something to hold on to or it will fall through the mat. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure over. I'm going to add, you can add a quarter of an inch on each side, on all four sides, but to be safe, Let's just do a half inch on each side. So a half inch on the, the width is going to be nine inches wide. And then I'm going to, and I'm using the factory edge of the paper, so I know it's going to be a straight line. And then I'm going to measure up uh, 11 inches because I've added a half inch on each end. And I'll just do this. And I'm go ahead and make my line. Okay. And then I've made it in a mark 10 inches or 11 inches up here and 11 inches up here. And I'll draw my straight line. And now I want to go in a half an inch because that's going to be the actual part that we see once we put it in the frame. So I can use this clear ruler, which is pretty cool because you can see that there's a half inch and you can actually see through the ruler. So what I do is I just take and get it at a half inch inside of this and then I can set it up to where it's a half inch here and a half inch here. And so basically I'm just going to come down, draw a line, I'm going to do the same thing on this end and stop at the half inch and I'm going to come over here and do the same exact thing. And finally, I will do the top. I'll just mark half inch. And so once we do that, this will be the actual drawing area, but this will be the area that sits behind the frame that kind of holds it in place. And that's uh, how you set up your paper for the frame and, and getting it ready because this is a large piece of paper and for beginning drawing I don't need all this paper.